To properly remove your display graphics card drivers, head into the link in the description or search on Google Display Driver Uninstaller. You want to head over to the Guru3D.com link. Once you are here, you will want to download the zipped file. Head over to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded the file. Right click the file and click extract files. Press OK. And you will now have another folder that says guru3d.com ddu. Double click on this folder and inside this folder there will be another file called ddu v and then the version number exe. Double click this file to open it up then click extract. The actual program is here called ddu with the version number. If you double click this folder the display driver uninstaller program is stored here. You now need to download your newest driver for your graphics card without installing it. If you don't know what graphics card you are using, press Control Shift Escape on the keyboard. Task Manager will open up. Press Performance. Scroll down to the bottom and GPU will be listed here and the brand will be here. For me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card. So I will search up NVIDIA drivers. I head over to the NVIDIA website, go through the relevant steps, and then download it. If you have an AMD or Intel graphics card, just search up AMD graphics driver or Intel graphics driver. Please make sure that you download this before you restart your computer into safe mode as to prevent Windows from installing generic drivers when we uninstall your graphics card drivers. Before we restart, to prevent Windows from reinstalling generic video drivers, we will want to disable the internet for the computer. The easiest way to do this is to go to your router and turn it off. But the other way to do it is to come down here to Network Settings on your taskbar in the bottom right, right click it, open Network and Internet Settings, and then click Change Adapter Options. Once we are here, to disable the internet, right click the relevant one to you, like Wi-Fi, and then click Disable. To know which one you're already connected to, there won't be a red X icon next to it. I'm going to do this for my Ethernet as well. So I right click it and press disable. Please remember to not enable the network settings again until you have installed the downloaded graphics card driver that you had downloaded in the previous step. I would also recommend to create a restore point before we go ahead and uninstall our display drivers. Click the start button, type in create a restore point, then scroll down to your C drive. Press create, type in the date, and type in what you're doing. Press enter to create the restore point. Once this is done, you're all good to go. You will now need to boot into safe mode. To boot into safe mode, you will want to head over to the bottom left with the windows icon, click it. Then click the power menu options, hold the shift button, and click restart. Your PC will now give you an options menu, and you will want to press troubleshoot. Next press startup settings, and then click restart. Wait for your PC to restart. Now press option number 4 on your keyboard to enable safe mode. Once the PC has booted into safe mode, you will want to go to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded the display driver uninstaller to and head into the file. Once you are in the file that says display driver uninstaller.exe, you will want to right click on the program and click run as administrator. If this is your first time opening up DDU, you will want to click OK and then you can click the X option when the options menus come up. 
Once the menu is closed, you will want to click Select Device Type and press GPU. Now, your graphics card drivers will depend on the graphics card you have installed in your computer. For me, it is an NVIDIA graphics card driver, so I click the drop down menu on Select Device and press NVIDIA. Once your settings have been selected, there are three options that you can select. The first is clean and restart. This should be used if you are not replacing your graphics card, so you're just uninstalling the drivers to reinstall them. The next option is clean and do not restart. You can use this option if you'd like to uninstall multiple graphics drivers, just in case you're not sure what has been installed in the past. The last option is clean and shut down. This is for installing a new graphics card, so if you'd like to remove your graphics drivers and install a new graphics card, select this option. Finally, you are ready to select the option that suits you best. For this example, I will be clicking clean and do not restart, and your graphics card drivers will start to uninstall. Once the graphics card drivers have been removed, there will be a message that shows up on screen. If you have clicked the option that says do not restart, you will need to manually restart your computer. Now that you have restarted your computer, head over to where you downloaded your graphics card driver. Mine is in my downloads folder. I double click it and follow the instructions to install it. Please ensure that you are disconnected from the internet whilst you are installing your new graphics card drivers. To enable your network settings once again, you just need to come down here to the network tab in the bottom right, right click it, press open network and internet settings, then press change adapter options, and right click the ones that you disabled, and press enable, and your internet will be working once again. Just a quick note for AMD CPU users, so if you're on Ryzen for example, you will need to reinstall your chipset drivers as well. So go ahead over to the website and click the auto detect one or you can search for your processor for the chipset drivers after you've enabled your network settings once again after your graphics card drivers have been reinstalled. So just keep that in mind, just a heads up. This is why we have the restore point as well, just in case anything goes wrong. And I will have another tutorial on how to restore from a restore point out later on. That is how you uninstall your graphics card drivers. Check out wirestech.org for some more awesome content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!